I don't know if y'all are experiencing a hard time with getting your chickens to lay, but the last couple days, it's been two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, and that just ain't been good. So recently, I did some things. Um, I changed their feed. I upped it up the scratch, you know, because it's getting cold. Scratch is gonna produce heat. Um, I wrapped their coop in plastic to help keep that chill off of them. Um, and I got the heat lamps on. And it seems like that, well, last night we got 14 eggs. So I believe it's a definite change. And hopefully it's for the, for the good. So I'm gonna show y'all what we got, show y'all how it's going and let's get into it. All right, so one thing I don't want y'all to do is judge it too hard. That's our rooster, so let's go. Let me show y'all what we did. We wrapped it in plastic. <laughs> you get the general idea. It is wrapped. It is a wrapped present box, and I think it will most definitely help because we got to chill that shoot straight over here, straight to here, and last thing I want them to do is freeze. Let me take y'all in and show y'all the situation we have inside. So anytime I'm looking for Kai, I can most definitely find her out here in the, out here with the birds. So this is the situation here. Like I said, it is dry in here. Um, we got a little roosting bar over there, which is a stick that fell off a tree. But it's dry, plenty lights. I'm about to show y'all what it's like at night one day. But the birds are out here. We have a feeder. Um, where are these feeders by? Flock party. Flock party. And then we have you the water from, tractor supply. from tractor supply. And we got our waterer, which is it refills. Farmer Brad. Farmer Brad. It refills. So we plug our water hose up to it, turn the water hose on, and it just refills. It's, it's a bucket. It's great. It's awesome. You ain't got to take it out and clean it and do all that nonsense. The only thing that we're somewhat concerned about is with the winter and the water hoses and it filling up like that. So yeah. we do have our other backup waters, you know, the ones that hang. But y'all stay tuned because I think we're going to have some tricks of the trades for fall and winter mm -hmm. to keep our butt nugget makers warm and flat air. For so. sure, for sure. I think it's going to be a pretty good winter as it is every year. But right now they're molten, so... You know, it's one of those things like at least they're in a dry and warm, controlled environment. You know, I wouldn't want to molt in the coat. So, like I was saying, it is fairly dry in here um, at the moment. Again, we haven't had no rain, so I imagine there will be some areas that were. But this is where they. Um, I need. I know. Don't judge. I need to change out these to some two by fours and maybe wrap them. But in the moment, this is what they have and we're, we're, what they've been dealing with. That needs to come out, so don't even talk about that. And there goes their box. That's where they lay their eggs. I'm about to show that to you in a second as well. But again, dry. Dry is the key, right? Dry is the key. Dry. Listen, I got up out of there. When I say some of them birds look crazy, them... <laughs> Kai, Kai, would you say they're molten or what's the deal with them birds? She ain't even paying no attention. I guess them they birds molten. are molten. They molt every year. So they, I was like, I was like, what the hell am I? Why am I filming you? <laughs> Let me show you all this box. All right. So as we pop it open, we got eggs. And as you can see, we got some eggs up here. We got some eggs down here. Eggs over here. I don't, none over there. And then they have two more spots over here. I don't know if there's any eggs. I don't think so. But we have one heat lamp in here and that's helping them out. They, 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 they know what I've done. They know about, I, I've opened it. So let me get up out of here. So again, just by changing their feet out, adding more scratch, um, adding warmth and getting them wrapped, it helped tremendously getting that egg production up. So if any of y'all having a hard time or losing egg production, <laughs> this is a good way to start. Get them some foods that are gonna heat them up, wrap them up and warm them up. That's all you gotta do. Try it, see, what, see how it works out and hopefully you have success. We're hoping that it continues so <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> Till next time.